All right, guys, so we're gonna check on Tony and make sure he's all right in there. Is he looking good? Well, he's looking right at us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shut the door. He's looking good. What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill camera flip. That's a lot harder on an iPhone, <laughs> but I hope you guys are having an amazing day. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack. It's a weird day, and it's not how I expected my day to start. But we are going to be heading over to where I film for ADHD's world right now because I featured a hawk that was recently in a video. If you saw the video I recently uploaded on ADHD's world, I literally got like within like six feet of a hawk. But it turns out that hawk is still there, and now it's two days later. And that thing has to be starving because it's literally been in the same spot. So we think something's wrong with it maybe it's injured has some kind of parasite literally have no clue but now i'm heading over there to literally catch this thing because i called aspca they won't come and get it i literally called the freaking animal control they won't come and get it i called the rescue they're like 77 miles away they'll take care of it if i take it to them but they won't come get it because this isn't like their district apparently so so ridiculous that there's literally a hawk in my front yard and there's no one in the world this job it is to come get it so not just that i don't want anything to happen to this hawk and i want him to live you know the person i talked on the phone said basically if he hasn't eaten for two days and he's still on like you know in the tree he's definitely probably really sick so i'm gonna head there right now i actually gotta get ready and get over there but i'm gonna head over there right now and i'm gonna try and actually somehow capture this hawk that way we can take it to somebody that can actually take care of it and get this thing back on its feet and also um me and parker named the hawk tony and i guess um because of that we have like a lot closer relationship and also because i featured it in the video i'd hate for something to happen to the hawk after i used it in the video as well and you know he's part of the rep pack now the rep pack we gotta go save them. Let's go. All right, so we're heading out right now. I grabbed a blanket because I was told by the person on the phone that I'm gonna need a blanket to throw over the hawk. And I brought the bold and brash one because I figure if this one gets messed up, it belonged in the trash anyway. All right, so we're on our way over there right now. I'm honestly very nervous. I've never tried to catch a hawk before. So we're gonna do this, see if we can catch Tony and, you know, just make him, make him still still be alive. So we're on our way there right now. I'm gonna be gloved up, glassed up, eye, eye protectioned up. I don't know, maybe he won't stay in the blanket, you know? But, you know, we gotta save Tony, so let's get over there and face this for whatever it's gonna be, Red Pack. And right now, I'm like, literally, my heart's pounding, guys. Like, I'm just nervous just because the bird is now on the ground, apparently. It's off the tree, onto the ground, on the street. So I don't want the bird to get hit. Like, I just, I'm getting like really concerned for the bird and I just really didn't expect my day to go this way and I just hope that um hope that everything goes all right and I hope that um we can save him all right so right now we're gonna go get the bird we're gonna go see right now if he's okay and then I'm gonna go and get my gloves there he is right there so beautiful though sorry you're hurt friend he's just chilling there so we're gonna go try and grab the gloves right now and see if we can take care of Mr. Tony all right so here we go we're gonna go for it let's try and make this smooth hopefully he's ready to go come on Tony you're okay Good, get it. There, you got it. Perfect. Yes. It's okay, it's oh. okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. A hawk. We just got a hawk. No. Seems like Tony's okay. Uh -huh. Um, we're gonna get the blanket out of here now, so that way he has air. And then, I mean, he didn't really fight at all. I mean, no, you did he good. He was super tired. Amazing. So that was like super easy. Thankfully, he was ready to go. Hopefully, we can get some help now. All right. So we got Mr. Tony. Let's go ahead. Or we could also name him Riley. But we're gonna go with Tony. Let's gonna go, go with Tony, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's go with Tony. We're gonna go ahead and take him to the car right now. Everything's good, bold and brash. This isn't going in the trash. Let's get him in the car. He's going to the Ojai Rapture Sanctuary for her treatment. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put Tony in there. Move this stuff out the way. Because now we have all this ash from the fires. Him. Yes, that's probably why he's down here, honestly. Let's go ahead and put him in there. So now Tony's in there. And let's see if we can get a little peek inside and see what Tony's doing. He's down there. You see him? Yep, there he is. He's, he's chilling. Chilling. All right, there's Tony right there guys he's just he just wants help so we're gonna go ahead and get him some help let's get him out of here all right so now we're right on the road right mom yep we're on our way there how long's the drive an hour and 20 minutes maybe okay so it's gonna be a little bit of a ride and if you wonder why I missed my live stream this is why <laughs> so this is more than worth it though I'm glad we saved Tony just chilling here now eating some cheese it's most of the cheese it's <laughs> now but I'll update you guys when we get there so I don't know if you guys can see it I mean you could definitely see it in person and the camera kind of looks like just like a cloudy day but literally there's no clouds it's just all smoke and smog in the air driving through la and you can see how much smoke and smog there is in the air because it just looks like it's like a video game where like it's not rendered yet it just looks like silhouettes but we're on the road still it's like i said it's gonna be quite a ride but we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of random stuff during this uh pandemic that i haven't seen in a while and also not just during a pandemic when california is being turned to the minecraft nether and right there we got the best shot of it you can see 
just literally you could barely see any of the buildings just all the smog it just looks like silhouettes like i said and i mean that's just pretty much how it looks every direction just got to the location i'm not sure how much i will be able to film or not film i will try to get as much as i can but i'll update you guys as soon as we get inside but i want it in the comments guys operation save tony give me operation save tony mom Operation Save Tony. <laughs> in the comments, guys, we're gonna do this. All right, guys, so we're gonna check on Tony and make sure he's all right in there. Is he looking good? Oh, he's looking right at us. Yeah, yeah. Shut the door. He's looking good. Before he comes flying out at us. <laughs> yeah, Tony's looking good. So Tony's looking good right now. The person that is gonna take Tony from here is actually coming out. We have him inside this container right now. My mom's taking him. We gotta say bye to Tony, guys. All right, so we just dropped Tony off and that was awesome, huh? Yes, very much so. Was she nice? Very nice. She was a great lady. Do you trust her, Tony? I trust her more than me. <laughs> Obviously, she said that they're going to assess the health, we give it some water or hydrate it, the bird, and to have a veterinarian assess the injuries and maybe some pain medication. So yeah, we're just basically gonna wait now. We're gonna contact them later down the week probably and see if Tony's all right. But the first thing he needs to get is some fluids because like he's literally probably hasn't eaten or drinking in like what a day. At least. So yeah, maybe 48 hours. I don't even know. So. So, yeah. Well, guys, unfortunately, even though I tried my best, Tony actually ended up passing away two days later after dropping him off. It was a lot of work getting Tony there and it was really stressful, but I don't regret it for a minute. Because a person got back to me and told me that they basically did everything that they could, that he got fluids and he even had an opportunity to eat, but he was just kind of at the point where he couldn't really push forward anymore. But because he was on the ground when I found him and he didn't fly away or run like instantly as soon as I got near him, you could tell that he was basically, you know, on his last leg. And the woman that worked for the organization told me that basically if I wouldn't have grabbed him, he probably would have just ended up being eaten by like a coyote or something else along the way, or just passing away alone there on the rocks. So I'm really, really glad that we are at least able to give Tony a dignified death and he'll always be remembered in the Rep Pack as one of the Rep Pack family. So let's give a hashtag, let's get an RIP Tony in the comments down below, guys. Tony will always be in the Rep Pack. All right, guys, so it's a few days later. Um, well, a couple, a week, about a week later, honestly. And honestly, I was super torn up about Tony for a while. Um, and I didn't even really want to film because I don't know, I guess like going after Tony and trying to get him for some reason, the moment just felt like, I don't know, like everything to me in the world. Like if I couldn't make sure he was okay, like what could I do right in the world? You know, that's probably not healthy, but that's just how it went. And I really, really just wanted to save him. And you know, we tried our best and like I said, at least was able to have like a dignified death and you know he was able to have a hydrated body and at least we gave it an opportunity and, and I wouldn't have been able to sleep that night or probably now if I would have done nothing so I don't regret it whatsoever and I appreciate you guys coming along for the journey I wish it ended in a better way but I guess that's just how life is